Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's promo. Today is June 23rd as of the recording of the video and Samsung just pushed off the latest software update. If you're running that brand new One UI 5 watch beta program and you can still actually sign up for it still even today, all you have to do is open up the Samsung members application and then along the top, you'll see all of these banners. And if you want to see the original video of me installing and signing up and taking a look at some of the brand new features, I can place that link below the video inside the description if you wanna watch the full step through process of how to get this going. But if you own the Watch 4, the Watch 4 Classic, or if you own the Watch 5, Watch 5 Pro, you wanna be a part of this One UI 5 Watch Beta program, you just click on either banner that fits your watch and then you go through the steps. Now over here on the watch, I hit the power button or one of the menu buttons and you can see that it was a little sluggish to kind of turn on. So I already just turned on the watch about 30 seconds ago and the phone or I should say the watch is actually pretty slow and sluggish you can see here. That's actually one of the fixes that they have done uh, with this little update. So we're gonna go through, we're gonna find this update and we're gonna see everything that is brand new. So first off, once you are part of the beta program, then you want to go inside of your Galaxy wearable application. Uh, and then you also want to make sure you have the latest version. Again, the video that I have linked below the video here uh, shows you every single step along the way. But here we go. We have it popping up. We have the watch software update. If you don't know where this is, you just go inside of the watch settings. And then you scroll down and you go inside of watch software update and then you go to download and install because i already downloaded it uh, that is why it popped up right away so now all i have to do is just get it installed so this right here is for the one ui 5 watch program this is the ending version of zwf4 and here's the major changes and improvements so a early sluggish issue after power on is improved partially so i don't really know what they mean by partially hopefully it's mostly fixed because when i did turn this on right away it was very very slow after it kind of loaded everything it was you know quite a bit quicker uh, they also fixed the issue with samsung pay can't use for a while after os updating uh, fix the issue of fast battery consumption so if you join the beta program you found that your watch was kind of draining quicker looks like they have fixed it here now if you have the watch 4 they added in bicycle riding exercise in the items of auto exercise recognition and then in addition applied a number of improvements now, this version ends with the ZWF4. It's 192 megabytes, which sometimes some of these little watch updates are right around 32 or 40 megabytes. So this one is quite a bit larger than that. And it also gives you that security patch of June 1st. So all I'm going to do now is hit on install. And then what I'm going to do is see, you know, how the watch interacts and how quick it is right after it powers on because that was again for me at least the biggest problem i didn't run into any of the other issues but when it does turn on for the first time it is very slow for at least a minute or two uh, so yeah we will be taking a look at that uh, and then again i can go through the list again to see exactly what was brand new but it's right around this point in the video i like to state that if you're brand new here at the channel jimmy is promo you appreciate these tips tricks tutorials and the latest information on your samsung galaxy devices make sure you just hit on that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications so you get notified for all future videos. So the update just finished on the watch. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna head over to see exactly what is brand new with this update one last time. Then what I'm gonna do is turn off the watch, turn it back on, because again, that was the biggest thing that was, you know, it was listed first as a major change and improvement, and it is something that I ran into. So again, it's the early sluggish issue when, when it's first powered on. It also had the issue of Samsung Pay where you can't use it after a while after the OS is updating, fixed the issue of fast battery consumption. So I didn't really run into any issues of big battery consumption issues. So this one, you know, if you had problems, there you go. Hopefully it's fixed. If you own the Watch 4, the bicycle riding exercise is now in the items of auto exercise recognition. And then a few other things has been added as well. So now the thing I want to do is turn this thing off. I want to see if it's going to be a little bit better when it comes down to turning on and seeing how long it takes for me to kind of get into the watch, try to move around to a few different pages, open up the settings, because beforehand it took quite a while. It was pretty bad. But again, that was only at startup. Now, normally most people just have their watches on all the time. You know, uh, you use it. And then maybe about three, four or five days later, you put it on the charger, you take it off, you use it again for three to five days and so on and so forth. So let's just see if we do run into any problems, any issues. And I'm just going to do this in real time because I, I want to show you guys what it looks like now after the fact. So then this way, if you wanted to join into the beta program now, 
now that there has already been a little update that has given you a few bug fixes and improvements, maybe now is a better time to join rather than getting it on the very first version of, you know, basically beta one. So let's just take a look at this here. All right, so it just turned on right here. You know, as it was loading and, and starting the whole thing, I didn't really care about that speed. It's the speed from now, now that pretty much everything has already loaded it's turned on it just got connected to the device now i just want to see you know how long it takes for any you know pretty much any interaction here we are we got our battery widget showing us you know what the battery is so i did a swipe already it doesn't really look like it's doing much here we go it kind of moved a little bit now before this update i would still be on the main home page you can see that a lot of the stuff here is still kind of loading so again that is one of those things that is kind of annoying uh let's see i'm going to pull down into the settings here so that should have opened it here we go again i'm going to try to open it up again that should have opened it again so it looks as if there is still some sluggishness going on uh, maybe it's not as bad as the first time uh, i mean i'm swiping through some of these tiles so at least the tiles have loaded and so maybe that's what it's doing. It's kind of unpacking all these different packages. You know, it's got the tiles going first off. So here we go. At least we're able to see some of these ones. It's able to move around. Uh, but I still want to get into the settings. Here we go. So now the settings finally popped on. So it's not the quickest thing in the world. It's not as good as what it was before this update. Um, but it should be getting better, you know, from here on. So you can see that now I can actually finally go through these menus. I'm going to bring it right back up. I'm going to open up all the rest of these applications. So now you can kind of see it's running a little bit better. You know, it just took about a minute. So I guess the nice thing about it is if you just turned on your watch and then maybe just set it down, you brush your teeth, or maybe just put it on your wrist, you're going out the door, you're getting in your vehicle, you're starting to go, you know, maybe there's no reason for you to look at your watch within the very first instant of turning it on. So that right there was the update. It kind of looks as if it's still a little slow, but again, it takes about three to five minutes, I guess, with this One UI beta program, at least for it to, you know, have everything fully load. The menu is still a little slow, but going through the tiles this time is much quicker than what it was before this update. Uh, again, it's only when you first power it on when it's slow. If you've already had it on, you're going to be perfectly fine. But I just wanted to show you guys where we're at in this little update and stuff so hopefully you guys appreciated this video if you did give it a big thumbs up don't forget to hit subscribe subscribe on the very bottom left hand side and if you like this video then more than likely you'll also like this video and i'll see you guys later